Hello my friends. This is how I constructed an inexpensive and very reliable timer for my fish feeder. To construct this timer you need to use uh, in this situation a, a mechanical uh, timer that I have here and what this will do it's a 24-hour timer it'll turn the switch or power on and off and if you look closely here you see around this perimeter there's mechanical pins that you can set and what we want to do is set this to feed the fish uh, three times during the day and uh, not be running at night time. I have this timer set to operate or turn on only uh, three times through the day. It'll be, I have it set for nine o'clock, one o'clock, and five o'clock. And when this uh, switches on, the time at which the circuit is energized is only 15 minutes. That's not a problem. Uh, what we're doing is setting the amount of time that's being delivered to the power auger with this digital timer. And it's using a 12 volt power supply to turn that on. And that same power supply runs the fish auger, the feed auger. And that will uh, push the feed out of the feed hopper and into the fish tank. The uh, digital timer, uh, they're small units, about like this. And uh, I got one that has, oh, I got, I bought about three of them. The one that I'm using has a digital remote. The remote, I can have the unit mounted up on the wall and use the remote to set the uh, time increment for uh, the amount of time that that auger will be running and putting food into the uh, fish tank. <clears throat> With the mechanical timer, this is how you uh, set it. There's these outer uh, buttons or pins on the outer perimeter and you can see the different in color. The dark is representing nighttime, the white daytime. Right here you can see the sun, that's min or noontime bottom there's a moon midnight uh, they could all be different like this one but they're pretty much similar okay now to set this I want to feed my fish at nine o'clock so I'm gonna push this one down and one o'clock which is here and five o'clock which is here so then this dial will turn and what you do is you can see right here this little arrow this designates what time it is and you just turn this until you hit the time that it is the present time if you have a power failure this will stop running so you'll have to come back and rotate this to get it back in sync on the proper time frame. Right there you can hear the uh, motor turn on, the second timer kicked in, the digital timer. And it ran for the set period and shuts off. The power is still on uh, through the circuit until it passes and right there it clicked and it turned the power off to the rest of the circuit. Okay, and if you're testing, there's a uh, default button, this switch right here, one direction to the timer, the other direction turns the outlet on, and you can hear it just turned the motor back on, and it'll run for that preset time, and then shut off right there. Okay, I have it back to the top timer. Okay, now we need to set the digital timer, which is the time that the feed auger will be running. And I'll show you how 
to turn that one or set that one on. Okay, power on. Okay, it's lit up when uh, the power is to the circuit. When the power turns off, all the lights will go off. The digital timer right here. To set this timer, all that you do is you type in the a number of seconds that you want. Let me see if I can move this a little bit. Okay, set this. So uh, we're going to keep the time short. So we're going to set it. There is a zero. Zero. You see the lights flicker. And we'll just go two seconds and see the two. The lights will then... Uh, no, th then you have to hit save. After you hit save, you'll see the numbers flash and the two seconds come up. Uh, now the timer is set to operate for a duration of two seconds. So when you lose the, when you uh, have the power to energize the circuit, so I'll run it uh, through this way. <clears throat> okay, I'm being the mechanical timer. So when the power comes on from the mechanical timer, the mechanical timer will stay on for its duration, but the digital timer will run for two seconds. And right there. Okay, like I said earlier, that I have this set for my fish for 30 seconds. So I'll do this one more time. Zero. We don't want to run at 30 seconds. Zero. And let's go five seconds. Right there, you hit the save. The timer memorized it. And then we re energize the circuit. Timer's running. And that's it. Now this unit is set to the auger. Right there. This digital timer, whether it's the uh, one with the remote or the very similar one, the one that just uses the buttons. This also has the same two buttons for setting the time. Okay, to the units that you buy, they're only about three dollars a piece. This one with the remote might have been about six dollars. My digital timer was about six dollars, so you have about twelve dollars into the timing circuit. But when you order these and they come in the mail, there is no instructions with these. So good luck trying to figure out uh, what you have here. So uh, what you need to do is reference these. And to get the reference, if you look on the back of the circuit, you'll see some numbers. Okay, this is upside down. See the numbers here. Type these numbers in your uh, Google search, and uh, what you'll do is you'll come up with documentation. Okay, this is the number that I typed in right here, and it's a multifunctional programmable timer relay module. Okay, it gives you the specifications. There's a block diagram of the circuitry, which uh, it helps a little bit, and it tells you what the components are. Um, and then, right here is uh, the uh, layout of the parts, showing you where the relays and input and outputs are. And in addition to that, it gives you the uh, program uh, sequence and how to uh, program this and uh, for the functions that you're going to do. And it also gives you instructions on how to set the timer. So with this you should be able to program and get it to function. 
the circuitry that we have here, the block diagrams that we're using, is a very fundamental system. Uh, simple components, uh, and the simpler the better. And very cheap. Rather than trying to get one uh, board to perform all the functions and paying more for an Adrito, an Adreno circuit or a, a, a Raspberry Pi circuit, uh, these components you would uh, have much cheaper. Um, you'd be needing to purchase relays if you use the uh, Adreno or Raspberry Pi and those relays are going to cost as much as these boards are costing. Uh, those relays would be needed to drive your uh, motor auger. So this cost is much, much cheaper uh, by doing it this way. I mounted the mechanical timer and the 12 volt power supply on the wall inside the fish house. This is keeping high voltage away from the tanks and running 12 volts over to the digital timer. The mechanical timer just delivered 12 volts to the digital timer. You can see the digital timer counting down and energizing the auger in the hopper and the auger is delivering food into the fish tank. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.